not. So we ask today that our joy and your joy may be full. Support Worship Center Radio by going to www.worshipcenterradio.net and on the right side, click the Donate Now area. Send your love offering that we may continue to broadcast throughout the world and to bring you programming that elevates you to the next level in God. We have put the great commission given to us by our Lord Jesus in action. We thank you in advance for your financial Turn my support. Up. Yep, there you go. Okay. Hi, this is Juan, and you're listening to the Worship Center Radio, where we could turn the anointing on at any time. Blaine, talk in tongues for me. Korean, that ain't Hosea, Tarara Makara. See, told you, at any time. So we're featuring music of All oh, Give Thanks for the month of November. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everyone. I'm Anthony Howard, and you're tuned in to Gossip Music the Traditional Way. As I stated earlier, that November is not just a season of the birds, chilly weather. Detroit has certainly had such a wonderful time over the past week with really balmy temperatures, but it's the season of Thanksgiving. And during this season of Thanksgiving, we here at Gospel Music the Traditional Way, we intend to bring you some of the some really exciting music that were presented during this Thanksgiving season, this season of Thanksgiving. And some of our guests that are going to be uh, visiting us here in the studios are going to share with you some acts of philanthropy, uh, some giving. And next week, we are expecting the executive chefs from Wolfgang Puck restaurants at MGM Grand Detroit to be in live in our studios and we're going to cook. We're going to give you some Thanksgiving ideas. I'm even going to put on my apron and I'm going to help them cook. We got you, you need to tune in next next Saturday. You need to tune in. It's going to be really an exciting show. We're going to have quite a few announcements for you today so you have a chance to get your pen and paper, but right now we're going to get back to Oh, give thanks. I'm Anthony Howard. We're live in the studios here at Worship Center Radio. You can give us a call at 248-796-8241. Look forward to hearing from you. We'll be right back.
Instead of complaining about what's wrong, count your blessings. If you can't find them for anything else, just be glad they woke you up this morning. And when you woke up, you found out you could get up and still have the attitude of your own opinion. Come on, some of you don't look like you're grateful tonight. I'm going to be downtown in four months for you, you know. But we're going to praise God for now. Oh, yes, we are. If you hear anybody that's got a problem, I want to take a stall and pass it over. I know it is. And the Lord is going to make a way for you. He's going to see you through. I know it is. Oh, I don't know what you need. Oh, God. He's got it. What you need. Oh, God. He's got everything. You can tell what you need. God got it. He's got everything. Yeah. What you need. God got it. He's got everything.
Tell you, it's nothing like praising the Lord. You know, it's nothing like hearing them shout, shouting yourself. You know, there's a certain bit of cleansing that comes with praising the Lord, shouting and just celebrating the goodness of God. Sometimes I uh, just sit back and I think, thank you, Lord, for just allowing me to look out the window and see the water and see the sun and Hear such wonderful anointed musicians. That's how good God is. That's a blessing. That's something worth shouting about. Now I better stop it because I better. I, you know I don't know what the FCC. They could be listening. I might get too loud, <laughs> and they'll come up in here and say, "What you doing up in that studio?" <laughs> but God is good. You tuned in to Gospel Music the Traditional Way. I'm Anthony Howard. Thank you for tuning in this Saturday, this first Saturday in November. We're giving thanks to the Lord this month. This is a season of Thanksgiving. We started off with We Gather Together, a, a relatively new arrangement. We gathered together to ask the Lord's blessing that was arranged by the St. James Missionary Baptist Church Music Ministry. We've been listening to Oh, Give Thanks. This was recorded in the year 1983. Now, Understand, this is not a professional recording. It's just something that don't tell anyone that I did. <laughs> but I'm glad that I did because it's such wonderful minute, such wonderful ministry, such wonderful music, and you're going to uh, learn as you go on the diversity of music and different sounds and singing and words just in praising the Lord. Because coming up, you're going to have "Come Down, Mighty King" and in Shady Green Pastors. You can give us a call, 248-796-8241. That's 248-796-8241. Give us a call. We're live on the air in Worship Center Radio Studios. When we come back, we got some announcements from Fellowship of Music and Arts. You don't want to miss that, the upcoming music conference. You don't want to miss that. When we come back, we're going to have those announcements. But first, come thou almighty king.
And welcome back once again to Gospel Music, the traditional way. This is the season of Thanksgiving. Well, actually, there's a song titled, Every Day is a Day of Thanksgiving. But we recognize November as being the season of Thanksgiving. November is also the season for cancer awareness. So for the month of November, men have been asked to not shave. So you will notice that I will begin to look a little scruffy by the end of the month. But it's all in the spirit of cancer awareness. And what you're asked to do is not only to not shave, but the money you would spend on your grooming supplies, contribute that to an organization to uh, help fight the disease cancer. So yes, I'm going to... uh, let my beard grow out, and I just have to look look a little scruffy for a little while, but it's for a good cause. There are so many announcements, and some of them I will share with you right now. One of them is the Fellowship of Music and Arts is hosting its second Musicians Summit. That's next Saturday, the 14th of November, from 2 to 4 p.m., a century... The 21st Century Musicians, the Music, the Ministry, and the Business. Yes, that's the Musician Summit for musicians, music enthusiasts, choir members. If you want to come and learn more about the business of music, about being in the choir, about all this concerning and that affects church musicians, do come to this summit, and there's so much more. We're going to have Al McKenzie, board member of the Musicians Union. He's going to be there, and there's also going to be an investment person from Primerica that's going to be there to teach you uh, various things regarding that. This is 652 Orange Street, Detroit, Michigan. That's If you know Detroit, then you know where Woodward and Owen is. Well, just go east a few blocks, and you're right there at Greater New Mount Moriah Baptist Church. 21st Century Musicians, the music, the ministry, the business. You want to come there, and guess what? The admission is free. This is sponsored by the Fellowship of Music and Arts. Gregory Pearson is the chairperson for this event. Bishop Andre Woods is the general chairperson and the chairperson of Fellowship in Music and Arts. You really want to come to that. And last, we had our first summit. I remember that you had folks coming in from as far away as Ohio and Wisconsin and, and other places in outlining areas of Michigan. They were coming in to be a part of this summit. All are welcome. Well, you don't have to be a musician. But do come and learn. And we're going to have other programs coming up. We have some programs uh, coming up in February of 2016. We really have a calendar that we are pushing forward. That's the Fellowship of Music and Arts. Also, this is the season of Thanksgiving. And we're moving into the season of Christmas, as we know. We're in the Advent season. But... Let us know that you can shop online. You can stay safe. You can save time. Shop at iShops at Howard's Place. Simply log on to www.howardsplacemall.com. Many stores now are offering free delivery. They're also offering huge savings pre-Black Friday. So shop at uh, howardsplacemall.com. And, you, and you'll be glad you did. There's many stores. Now, I'm, now Howard's Place Mall is not designed with coats and sweaters and all kinds of things like that on it. When you log on to it, you will see stores. Many of your favorite stores that you shop at every day, I shop there. Uh, you'll see Joseph Bank Clothiers, you'll see Macy's, you will see Foot Locker, you'll see Target, you even see Godiva Chocolates in the home goods section. 
Yes, I'm a classy kind of guy. <laughs> so shop at HowardsPlaySmall.com. You'll be glad. And you can visit all of uh, the iNetwork. Simply go to the iNetwork. That's www dot the iNetwork dot net and that will take you to all of the i websites. We want to thank you for tuning in today, Gospel Music the Traditional Way. You can contribute to this program simply log on to imusic media dot com and you'll see an area where you can contribute to this program. We want to stay on the air until the Lord comes back in the air. But we need your help and support. Now we're gonna get back to our music you can give us a call, 248-796-8241. But we also want you to know that not only did gospel music, as you may have noticed already, had the sway to it, and but this one has a different little feel to it. I think you're going to enjoy it. In, to me, it's kind of like a Latin beat to it. In Shady Green Pastures. <laughs> That's a good one. God leads his dear children alone. We'll be right back.
You're tuned in to Gospel Music the Traditional Way. I'm Anthony Howard. This is the season of Thanksgiving, and so we've been listening to Oh Give Thanks, 1983. I Surrender is the next song coming up. Well, okay, all right. You know, one of the neat things about having a live broadcast is things happen. And so that's okay. God is good and we got to keep right on. I want to remind you once again that next Saturday we are having a Thanksgiving special here in the studios at Worship Center Radio. You want to tune in. It is going to be something totally different. Here we have a world-renowned chef that owns a restaurant, Wolfgang Puck, located in the MGM Grand Detroit complex. Uh, the, the restaurant is going to be here along with their executive chef preparing a meal. He's going to give us some tips on what we can do for Thanksgiving to make the meal that much more exciting. So that's going to be an extraordinary program. Just the fact to have them here cooking, preparing. There's going to be some philanthropists here next week that's going to share with us in this season of Thanksgiving. And there's even going to be, wait till you hear this, wait till you hear this, so spread the word, folks. There's going to be a couple of actors, an actor and actress, rather, and one of them has played in Batman and a few other really, really uh, exciting movies. They're going to be here live in the studio at Worship Center Radio and on this program, Gospel Music, The Traditional Way. Remember, as I said before, gospel, gospel simply means good news. The word of God is good news. So good news can come about many different ways, whether it is through music, whether it is through the spoken word. And I'm telling you, it's good news just sharing with people, and I'm happy that so many people have consented to come on this program and that are coming on this program. If you just take a look back, I began hosting this program just six months ago, and we've had recording artists, we've had executives, we've had Reverend Faith Fowler of CAS Community Social Services. We have had some people in this studio that have really shared some wonderful and exciting information. So you want to stay tuned to this broadcast, Gospel Music, the traditional way. You can stay informed and hear some really, really good music. I'm having a good time listening to this music from 1983. We want to also remember the Gospel Connection that comes on every Tuesday at 10 a.m. with Bishop Andre Woods. And hmm, speaking of Bishop Andre Woods... <laughs> <laughs> if you listen to Bishop Woods, give us a call at 248-796-8241. We'll have him give you more details on the Musicians Summit. Or Gregory Pearson, who is a chairperson, if you're listening, give us a call at 248-796-8241. Anyone can give us a call, and uh, we would love to hear from you. But that's the 14th. So before I come here to the studio, I'm going to be at Greater New Mount Moriah. That's 652 Orange Street in Detroit, Michigan, just off Woodward, east of Woodward. And that's where the second Musician Summit, hosted by the Fellowship of Music and Arts, is going to be held. Understand, it's simply 21st century musicians, the music, the ministry, and the music, the ministry, and the business. We're going to go now to our phone lines. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Anthony Howard. How are you? Fine. How are you? 
Good. Who is this? This is your sister. Well, beat me with a porcupine. That's well, uh, my sister, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? Good. Have you been listening to the program? I most certainly am. Well, that's great. That's great. And I would like to know a little bit more information about the summit with uh, Reverend Andre Woods. Sure. The summit is on next Saturday. It will be at Greater New Mount Moriah Baptist Church. That's 652 Orange Street. Just uh, It's right there near Holbrook and right off Woodward. And it is all are welcome to attend. It's free of charge. There's going to be presenters that are going to present information and such. Al McKenzie is one board member of the Musicians Union. And then there is another gentleman that will be there from Primerica. Then there's a panel of musicians and people that will bring to you other information. However, you can ask whatever questions you would like that you want to seek information about, how to do this. There may even be some jobs available for people. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I relay this message to all of my friends so we can be able to participate in this wonderful event. That's great. And it's even good for someone like... Uh, our nephew, my nephew, our nephew, your son. <laughs> and I must tell you that, you know, I have to be biased. I have a really talented nephew in the music industry and in the arts industry. And so it certainly is a time you could come. It's not just centered around musicians. It's something that all can take part in. And particularly if you in the arts arena, you can take part in knowing that how to uh, get your music published, how to get it copywritten, the advantages of it, even the advantages of belonging to the Musicians Union where you can have health insurance and have uh, life insurance. And, and it just it doesn't cost that much. Just even establish a bank account with the Musicians Credit Union. There's many advantages, and there's so much more that's going to be discussed that is going to just feed into everyone. And one of the really neat things is that we are working with not just um, senior musicians, as, as Jimmy Dallas would say, people like me, but it's for all types of musicians. The music is not just traditional. I play a healthy dose of my preference, but sorry, folks, that's just the truth. But, <laughs> but the, it's all kinds of music and all kinds of musicians that are going to be allowed to partake in this. Okay. Well, thank you for taking time to talk with your sister online. And I will continue to talk with you at a later date. God bless you. God keep you. And you continue to do a wonderful job as you are doing. Thank you so much. I appreciate you calling. I hope you'll call back and continue to listen to us. And I will talk to you. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Okay, love you. <laughs> okay, love you too. <laughs> and we're going to go to now, My Soul Loves Jesus. And we'll be back after that.
You tuned in to gospel music the traditional way. I know I threw you all a boomerang <laughs> because I decided to play what usually is my lead-in song, but I just wanted to break it up a little bit and play a little bit of Ron Otis in his CD up front. And of course, you can download that by logging on to www.imusic-media.com. You can download that on iTunes. Simply go to my website and do that. We have coming up, uh, back to 1983, the Old Get Thanks concert, You Brought the Sunshine. Now, this was what was called the St. James Band that was created, and Daryl Houston led the band, and it really was a tribute to Twinkie Clark. We all know that You Brought the Sunshine just stunned everyone and really vibrated the airway, airways. So back in 1983, You Brought the Sunshine, really, you got to listen to this. The I like the end of the song. There's a lot of improvisations going on with the song, and you'll really get a kick out of it. So here we go, back to 1983, Oh, Give Thanks, in this season of Thanksgiving. Remember, you can always contribute to keep us on the air at www.imusic-media.com. Just go to the bottom of the page, and you can contribute whatever you like. There's certainly things that we need to enhance our broadcast, to enhance this ministry. So please do that and help us out. You brought the sunshine.
a good time here at Worship Center Radio on gospel music, the traditional way. You were listening to You Brought the Sunshine by the St. James Band, which was a tribute to Twinkie Clark. That was a lot of fun. And then you heard, really, the soul story in Dr. Velma Willis in Just When I Needed Him Most. Now, we were kind of laughing in the studio about the little kid that was probably near me when I was recording this. And I'm thinking like, well, you know, nowadays I would have yanked that child to the side and gave him a good whip and they would have been quiet then. But, you know, I'm just having fun. But but it's just funny with that child was making that noise. Well, well, kids are kids, you know. You enjoy the sounds of children. But the beauty of the song was still there. Amen. Just a quick announcement. We're into the last part of the program, but I do want to reiterate next Saturday, the 14th, Musician Summit hosted by the Fellowship of Music and Arts. 21st Century Musicians. The music, the business, and the ministry. The music, the ministry, and the business. And so you don't want to miss that. We have presenters. We have a panel of musicians and people to really give you some insightful information. There are some wonderful questions. And, and just it's going to be really a packed house. So you want to get there early, get a good seat. It's at Greater New Mount Moriah, 652 on Street in Detroit, Michigan. All are welcome. Our first summit was hosted 
people attended from all over the region and out of state. Folks came in just for this summit. So this is really going to be a wonderful afternoon. And then when you finish there, I'm headed to, you got to get somewhere where you can watch this, but I am headed to the studios of Worship Center Radio for, you don't want to miss next Saturday viewing this program. And the chefs of Wolfgang Puck Restaurant, their steakhouse and pizza cucina will be live in the studios here and on Gossip Music the traditional way. They will be given Thanksgiving Day food specials, food treats, food ideas, you know. So you want to uh, learn to cook something special by an executive chef, you may want to make certain that you tune in next Saturday and enjoy the uh, food and the program with the Wolfgang Puck's uh, restaurant. And we all know that Wolfgang Puck is like a chef to the celebrities. We see him on Oscar night preparing the meal for the governor's ball. Now, next week, I'm going to have on my apron. Now, y'all want to see me cook? I'm cooking next Saturday. I'm going to let the chef know, wait a minute, now we're going in my kitchen. So well, <laughs> you can you can call it 248-796-8241. But yeah, I'm gonna cook next Saturday. I'm gonna show that chef. We're gonna have a cooking, we're gonna have a cook-off. How about that? We got two hours, we're gonna have a cook-off. I'm I'm gonna cook something. I don't know what, but we gotta do something and we're gonna have a good time. And that's what it's all about. Just the joy of the season. And this is the season of Thanksgiving. And so we want to really uh, have a good time this season. And we've been listening to Oh Give Thanks, presented by the St. James Missionary Baptist Church's adult choir with Reverend Charles Nix Jr. and uh, Jimmy Dow's the Minister of Music, Charles Nix being the pastor. This was in 1983. So we've been really enjoying the tradition of that. Remember that you can... Uh, log on to, I'm going to give you some quick information. We'll get back to the music. We, you can uh, log on to imusic-media.com to sow a seed. And this is a ministry. Uh, this is a ministry that uh, we produce just for you. We air two hours every Saturday just for you. Good music, good information. You can even send your information to us. Log on to the website imusic-media.com and you'll see where you can send me an email with program ideas if you want to be a guest on the program, if you want to advertise here at the studio or on the program, send me the information and I will certainly uh, give you the information you need to do that. All right? Okay. Well, it's been good tonight being with you, and I have Blaine in the studio working the control boards, and so we're just blessed to have folks here doing a marvelous job. Let's go now. When the Lord delivers me, it really will be something for you to see. When the Lord sees me through, he's going to make my life brand new. Y'all better watch out now. I'm about to get carried away. We'll be right back. Yeah. 
Hello, once again, I'm Anthony Howard. Thank you so much for tuning in to Gospel Music the Traditional Way this first Saturday in November. You have a wonderful, wonderful week, wonderful week coming. And remember, do your holiday shopping at www.howardsplacemall.com. And if you happen to be out at Eastland Mall, stop by K Jewelers and say hi to Miss E. All right, see you next week. I'm Anthony Howard.